The US dollar is trading mainly flat with the minor collapse against the yen and the euro. Investors are anticipating the crucial event of the week, the ECB policy meeting. Traders did not find out any clues to the prospects of the Fed's rate cut in the non-farm payrolls, so they shifted focus to the speech by Jerome Powell and comments by other Fed's officials. And like ECB officials who sent a clear message about monetary easing, they collects from the Federal Reserve seem to avoid making straightforward comments. Voting members of the U.S. Rate Setting Committee indicated that they do not want to shed light on decisions of the September policy meeting. Their viewpoints confound expectations of market participants. Meanwhile, the lingering trade conflict between the United States and China increases the risk of recession. White House economic advisor Larry Kudlow warned that the trade conflict could take years to resolve. China's exports dropped unexpectedly in August amid sharp contraction of exports to the United States. Such data confirms weakness in the second largest global economy. The yuan declined in response. The US dollar index was trading flat at around 98.44 in the Asian trade. The greenback is trading slightly higher versus the yen. The dollar yen pair settled up at near 107.00. Traders are observing macroeconomic data from Japan. Its economic growth is in the second quarter, though GDP readings on a quarterly and yearly basis came in line with the expectations. The Australian dollar developed a steady rally last week, having hit the strongest level since August 1st. Today, the Audi USD pair continues its climb trading at 0.6855. The Aussie dollar found support from a solid report on mortgage approvals for July. You are watching Market News on InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals.